Hi, everyone, and welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're coming live to you today from Capacity Europe at the Intercontinental, talking to leaders about the latest trends, news, and innovation uh, impacting our industry. And I'm happy to have Stacey Pascoe, VP of Product for Aquacoms. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah. yeah. Your role is relatively new yeah. uh, since, since Capacity last year, so yeah. we wouldn't have spoken at the event at this event last year. Um, tell us about your role and, and what it entails. Yeah, so I joined Aquacoms maybe nine months ago. The business was smaller at the time, really just a couple of submarine cable systems. And so product wasn't something that you really needed. You've got a couple of subsea systems, you're selling wavelengths, what can product really do? Right. But the business is looking to expand. We're going into some new markets. We're bringing on new cable systems. We're looking to get a little bit more specific with our product portfolio to the customer's needs. So they asked me to come join the team and build out a product function because uh, they didn't have one before. So that's what I've been up to for the last nine months. And it's been fantastic. Yeah. So. And, and so talk about that. You, I yeah. think you had a big announcement recently yes. uh, from your team, from the product team. So can you yeah. talk about that? Yeah. So we just announced our third cable system in the transatlantic, uh, AEC3. It's a great system, a nice natural complement to our existing cable systems. Yeah. and. It really just shows our commitment to continuing to invest in the transatlantic market, to create diversity for the customers, and to have those big bandwidth pipes that customers increasingly need as bandwidth, as you know, continues to go up and up and up. Continues to, with <laughs> yeah. no end in sight. No end in sight. Right. <laughs> and, and something that's important, I mean, on that note, I think a lot of people are talking in our industry with the increased need and demand for increased supply and growth of infrastructure. Yeah. Sustainability is so important. Yeah. Can you talk about your commitment to that to, and what you're doing to yeah. support sustainability? Yeah. When I, well, formerly I was a customer of Aquacoms and right. I, I, am, I, I admired many things about the business um, that made me want to join the company. And one of them is the commitment to sustainability. And even as a customer, I didn't really see everything that they had going on. Now that I've joined the company, it's been amazing to see the alignment that the business has with the board on sustainability being at the forefront of everything that we do. It's ingrained in every single one of our KPIs for our business objectives for the year. It's in our top three objectives to hit all of our sustainability metrics and KPIs. So it's really nice to see that. And the business does a lot of cool things that I didn't even realize before I joined, like at events like this or any other conference, you know, you go in and you typically see a bunch of books and pens that have a brand on them. And when I first joined, where's our Aquacom's books and pens? What am I supposed to give out to the customers? And it was, well, we don't do that. Instead, instead of giving out things that might get thrown away or end up in a landfill, you know, these branded things, uh, we keep money for every customer that we meet with. And then at the end of the conference, we donate that to a sustainability initiative instead of having, yeah. you know, a bunch of little things out there. That's what we do at our conferences. And I thought that's just brilliant. I don't know why more people don't do that. Yeah. And it's just little stuff like that all throughout the business that, really makes me feel fulfilled working at a place that puts sustainability at the front line. Yeah. yeah. The big things matter, but so do the little yeah, things, exactly. right? And, and exactly. just having that, I mean, yeah, who needs more stuff to throw in their suitcase yeah. and then throw home <laughs> out when they get home, Exactly. Right? It's, it's, you know, sort of walking your talk there makes a big, you know, it's, it's makes an impact. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a, it's a good example. So what's the rest of the week hold for you? Um, well, meetings, 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 yeah. as any capacity event. Um, it's been great to come here and meet with interviewees like you, see some of the panel sessions. There's been yeah. some fantastic panels this week. And then one of the most excellent things about Capacity Europe is that we've got our headquarters out here. So we've got a huge team of folks mm -hmm. here, okay. big team meeting tomorrow. And it's just always nice to come together and see everybody. Yeah, that's great. You get yeah. it's sort of a, a sort of a double win for you. Yeah, you exactly. Get to be with the team, be with the industry yeah. all in the same week. Oh, that's great. Well, it was really nice to chat with you. This is our first time chatting. Hopefully we'll yes. get to talk. Uh, many more times yes. in, in the future and throughout the year, maybe, and, and again next year when we're probably both back here. Yeah. Um, anything, any parting words, anything you want us to watch for with Aquacoms as we go into 2024? Uh, just keep an eye out. We've got things moving. You know, I think the, the opening up of a product organization within the business shows that we really are getting ready for some advancements into new marketplaces. We're doing some expansions through to India that we're really excited about once those cable systems go live. So, you know, everybody thinks about Aquacoms in the transatlantic and we are excited to start kind of changing that brand around and having everybody think of Aquacoms for sustainability or sorry, submarine services. Yeah. And, sustainability, and sustainability, I suppose. Both of those. Worldwide, yeah. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah. Thank you, Stacey. It was great chatting with you. 
And thank you, viewers, for tuning in here to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Stay tuned as we bring you news and updates from more leaders throughout the day at Capacity Europe. Happy, happy networking.